Athletics tracks around South Africa remain a hub of activity as athletes aim to put the finishing touches on their preparations for the European season and the Olympic Games in August in Rio de Janeiro. This week, though, the attention has been less on athletes and more on WADA's decision to suspend the laboratory in Bloemfontein. Although a surprise decision for many, it doesn't come as a shock to athletics journalist Okut de Villiers. Yeah, it seems like it's a bit of a storm in a teacup at the moment. Um, as I understand it, the, 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 the laboratory was supposed to, well, they've closed it down for refurbishments in March in any case. So it was expected that they would, their, uh, their accreditation would be suspended. The lab in the City of Roses will have to wait before it can have the anti-doping heavyweights back to inspect the facility. But for De Villiers and the Institute for Drug-Free Sport, the lab will be up and running and conducting tests on athletes from all over Southern Africa. But the continent of Africa is in need of another lab to cope with the amount of samples and to maintain the standards expected by WADA. We need another lab and the fact that we only have one lab and it's closed is probably an issue. But, you know, the, the samples will, will still be tested, whether it is in Qatar, whether it's in Paris or whether it's in Switzerland. You know, I think it's, it, it just carries on. This is merely a bump in the road for the lab in Bloemfontein. They've anticipated the downtime due to the refurbishments and now they are confident that they'll be ready for the 30 September deadline set by WADA to reapply for the accreditation. For the South African Institute of Drug-Free Sport, this is business as usual. The samples are headed off to Qatar and once the Bloemfontein lab is up and running again, it will be a lab that Africa can rely on in future. CS2 Plessis, CCTV, Pretoria.